you can, Amy. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Your neurology department loaned me a culture of prions for my research on bovine spongiform encephalopathy. <laughs> She pop by to borrow a cup of mad cow disease. It's hard to make degenerative brain maladies hilarious, and yet somehow you do it. That's fun to have in a lunchroom. The real fun starts when you get to pick the rat you're going to feed it to, and maybe you choose the beady-eyed little mother who's been biting you all week. Please, we're eating. Can we get that off the table and change the subject? Can we? Stand back. Well, I turn this conversation into a conversation. This time it's your fault. Now, I have 100 alphabetized topics from artichoke, come on people, it's just a giant thistle, to zzz, the onomatopoeia poetry of sleep. I mean, how long would it take for that mad cow disease to kill me? I don't know, four or five years. No, it's not going to do it. Bernadette keeps texting me pictures of Penny and bridesmaid dresses. They're out shopping right now? Yeah. Just the two of them? I guess. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Why are they asking me about this stuff? What guy knows what a sweetheart neckline is? <laughs> Coming down the home stretch. Come on, horsey, you can do this. Damn, come on, thigh muscles, you can do this. Yeah, it's first place. I would have been a great jockey if I weren't too tall. I'm scared of horses. Sheldon, you're up. What? Come on, it's your turn. We said we'd get more fresh air. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I can't seem to get in touch with Amy. I tried email, video chat, tweeting her, posting on her Facebook wall, texting her, nothing. Did you try calling her on the telephone? <laughs> the telephone. You know, Leonard, in your own simple way, you may be the wisest of us all. Voicemail. Curiouser and curiouser. If you're worried, we can go over there and see if she's all right. Okay. You know, I heard in the news a bobcat has been spotted in her neighborhood. I don't.